so Greg, can you uh, can you just describe what you were doing this morning when you found out this uh, this this news? Yeah, so um, like every Wednesday morning, I'm actually in New York right now. Right. Um, every Wednesday morning, I wake up uh, pretty early, you know, probably around eight eight thirty, and um, we know that every Wednesday the Court of Criminal Appeals sets out on their hand down list and. We, uh, it's kind of a whole ordeal where my documentary crew comes with their camera and kind of films the whole thing, but, uh, pretty much just make my coffee and, you know, turn on my fire stick and see if, you know, at 9am, if the court of criminal appeals has made a decision on my case. And that's been going on since we started doing that March of 2007 or 18. So we've been doing it almost two years now. Um, it's been a long two years. It's been a very long two years. Uh, it's taken a toll a lot on, you know, me and my family and Gabri. And there's been many restless Tuesday nights, but we don't necessarily know if this is going to be the last night I'm going to have, um, you know, at home in my own bed. Um, but this morning, when I turned on the TV and I, I, I clicked on that link, that hand down list. Uh, my name was at the top, and uh, it says relief granted. And so today, with all the motions that's going on, uh, with me, my family, and all the phone calls that are coming in my phone, uh, today's a full day of celebration, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, it's just, it's it's been a crazy six years. I'm so happy that today's finally happened. We've been fighting for this day for so long. Uh, we've been fighting in prayer. We've been fighting in faith. We've been fighting... Um, you know, with our voices, um, and it's 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 quite amazing. What do you What did you uh, think about what the court said this morning? That no reasonable juror would have convicted you. Well, the thing is, is that um, with everything's been coming really, really fast, and I haven't actually been able to read the um, the opinion uh, because as soon as that happened, you know, the emotions took over me, and and. You know, Gabri right now, she's at the uh, Broadway Dance Center. She's doing a thing. And she actually left class, ran home, and embraced me. And, and as soon as that happened, multiple, you know, phone calls started coming in. So I haven't even got to look at the opinions on the court yet. So, uh, but I, I know it says relief granted. And I know here in a little bit when things start slowing down, I'll be able to see it. So just, I know you got to go, but a couple of quick questions. So what were you doing this morning when you, when you, is it a laptop you were using that, that you saw relief granted and were you drinking uh, a cup of coffee? What were you doing? No, as soon as I, as soon as I woke up, uh, we kind of do the whole routine of, you know, getting ready, uh, make my coffee. And then I just sit here and answer questions from the documentary crew. And then I have a fire stick that I pull up on my TV so I could see it big. Um, and uh, I saw it, and I I was just taken over by emotions, and I couldn't even – for so long, I just imagined my name to be right underneath Relief Granted for so long. And today it was there, and I've never felt more free in my whole life. I, uh, I'm celebrating with my family. I, I know right now I can go and do what I want to do, and I have my life back now, and – I was restricted from so much for the past two years of me being out. I couldn't hold down a job. I, I couldn't even volunteer at church because that required a background check. Um, but it's over now, and I'm, I'm just so 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 excited. What are you gonna do with your life now? I, um, you know, the, the possibilities are endless. I've always had a dream to go play football and continue to go play football. Um, for the past two years, I've been you know training really hard. Uh, with NFL football players, with collegiate football players. Um, I've had great opportunities from coaches to allow me to train with them. Uh, and I just want to go play football. I want to I wanna go get married. I'm going to get married in January. And that's a whole other thing, too, is this, this decision took a big weight off of me and my fiancé, Gabriel Anderson's shoulders, because the last thing we wanted, and we did this in faith, too, is we wanted to – set our date and our wedding in January um, in hopes that I would be exonerated by then. Yeah. And so we're, uh, we're really excited that um, 
we're going to get married and I'm going to get married as a free man. And so, um, I want to go and, and, you know, play football and share my story and, and just go live a, a simple life. Gotcha. Okay. Greg, thank you. Um, how long are you guys in New York? Do you know when you're coming back here? Yeah. So, uh, my, my brother's getting married December 19th and we're, uh, actually scheduled to fly back December 16th. Okay. Um, but I know that there's going to be an exoneration hearing, so that might change. Um, right. And I'm most likely going to be flying back in the next couple of days if, or whenever the hearing is. Gotcha. Okay. All right. I, uh, I appreciate it very much, Greg. Congrats right. to you. Thank you, Tony.